The World Anti-Communist League (WACL) was an international non-governmental organization of anti-communist politicians and groups founded in 1966 under the initiative of Chiang Kai-shek, leader of the Republic of China, Taiwan. It united mostly ultra-right and libertarian people and organizations and acted with the support of the right-wing authoritarian regimes of East Asia and Latin America. During the Cold War, WACL actively participated from anti-communist and anti-Soviet positions. In 1990, the organization changed its name to World League for Freedom and Democracy WLFD, but has preserved traditions and former ties. It unites representatives from more than 100 countries, has eight regional divisions. It is currently a member of the United Nations Department of Public Information and has its headquarters in Taipei, Taiwan. History The WLFD descended from the Asian People's Anti-Communist League. To cope with the growing tension around the world, Chiang Kai-shek of the Republic of China Rock on Taiwan, LPDO Carino of the Republic of the Philippines, and Syngman Rhee of the Republic of Korea founded the APACL in Jinhai, the wartime capital city of the Republic of Korea Rock on 15 June 1954. Its first general conference was held in that city and was host to advocate and support the causes of anti-communism, anti-totalitarianism as well as anti-authoritarianism. The other participating states, including Vietnam, Thailand, Okinawa, Hong Kong, and Macau, also sent representatives. <laughs> World Freedom Day World Freedom Day Chinese, Pinyin, is a memorial day celebrated on 23 January in Taiwan and South Korea. The event marks the return of some 22,000 ex-communist war prisoners of the Korean War 1950 to, to Taiwan, of whom 14,000 Chinese soldiers arrived at Keelung Harbor on 23 January 1954, and were given the title, "...anti-communist martyrs." The Republic of China Rock government subsequently declared 23 January as World Freedom Day to honor these soldiers, and created the "...anti-communist league", which later became the World League for Freedom and Democracy to fight communist expansion worldwide. The league is led by President Yao Enge Chi, a former Kuomintang MP and Secretary General Ge Yeong Kuang, a professor for political science at National Taiwan University. Every year World Freedom Day celebrations are held in Taiwan, and the event is attended by both locals and foreign delegates from all over the world. Usually, the President of the ROC delivers a congratulatory message, and cultural performances take place. <laughs> Asian Pacific League for Freedom and Democracy The Asian Pacific League for Freedom and Democracy APLFD was founded in 1954 as the Asian People's Anti-Communist League in Qinhai, South Korea with the support of the governments of the Philippines, South Korea and Taiwan as the Republic of China. The APLFD is a non-profit international organization for interchanges among the Asians for peace and prosperity of the region. The APLFD was founded in the same year and under the same international background as the forming of the Southeast Asia Treaty Organization SEATO, or the Manila Pact, did in 1954, when the Second World War was concluded not a long while ago. However, while the SEATO (1954–1977) was sort of an Asian NATO in nature, the APLFD is a people's organization trying to secure peace and prosperity through ideas and convictions and friendship. Having founded the APACL, the government of the Republic of China prepared to organize the second conference and chose Taipei City as the place to set up the Republic of China chapter of the APACL on the 1st of July 1954. Ku Chen Kang, president of the Chinese Refugees Relief Association of the Republic of China, was designated as the first president of this chapter. Over the years, successors to the presidency of the Republic of China chapter are Clement C. P. Chang, Chao Tze Yao Enge Qi, and Seng Yang Xuan. 
As of 2013 the president was Yao Enchi, former vice president of the ROC Legislative Yuan Parliament and also senior advisor to President of the Republic of China on Taiwan. <laughs> World Anti-Communist League In 1966 the memberships of the APACL had increased to 27, in Asia, Australia, and Africa. At its 12th conference in Seoul on 3 November 1966, a 15-member committee was formed to discuss the expansion of this organization. The committee eventually decided to set up a new anti-communist organization, including the APACL, regional organizations, and an international anti-communist organization. On 7 November 1966, the delegates adopted the Charter of the World Anti-Communist League at the plenary session. It also resolved that the Republic of China chapter was in charge of organizing the first general conference. The Charter of the World Anti-Communist League WACL, with eight chapters and 32 articles, came into effect on 1 April 1967. It stated that the WACL should immediately set up its regional organizations in six regions: Asia, now known as Asian Pacific League for Freedom and Democracy; Middle East, now known as Middle East Solidarity Council; Africa, now known as the African Organization for Freedom and Democracy; and Europe, now known as the European Council for World Freedom; North America, now known as the North American Federation for Freedom and Democracy; and Latin America, now known as the Federation of Latin American Democratic Organizations. The organization in the Asian region was the main force to push for the mission of the World League. Renaming To adjust to the worldwide political changes after defeat of Soviet Union and the end of the Cold War and to strive for recruiting more people to join, the WACL held its 22nd General Conference in Brussels, Belgium on 23 July 1990, and the delegates resolved that the organization should be renamed the «World League for Freedom and Democracy» WLFD. This resolution came into effect on 1 January 1991. In 21 August 1991, with the new name, the WLFD held its 23rd General Conference in San Jose, Costa Rica. Rafael Angel Calderon Fournier, President of Costa Rica, and Vice Presidents from six countries in Latin America, gave speeches. The conference passed a resolution to set up the Presidency of League, a new post to highlight the leading center of the WLFD and also to take the responsibility to organize WLFD activities. Chao Tze Chi, President of the Republic of China Chapter of WLFD, was elected as the first President of the WLFD, and re-elected in 1995. Yu Che Sung of the ROC was named as the Secretary General. On January 19, 2006, the WLFD adopted its Charter Amendment in the 34th General Conference. According to the amendment, the President of the League shall be the top official of the League, and shall represent the League, and shall supervise the performance and development of the League in compliance with the Charter. According to the previous Charter of the WLFD, the President of the League shall be the leader of the League and shall represent the League. This person shall supervise the performance and development of the League in compliance with the Charter. According to the Charter of the WLFD, the President of the League shall be elected by and from the members of the Executive Board of the League. The result of the election shall be reported to the General Conference. The President shall hold office for a term of four years and shall be eligible for re-election. In October 2000, all members of the executive board approved Yao Enchi, president of the WLFD ROC chapter, as the third president of the league during the executive board meeting in New York City, U.S. The executive board also amended the charter to add several positions such as four vice presidents and two deputy secretary generals. The decision made by the executive board was also confirmed by the members at the 31st WLFD General Conference in Taipei, ROC, on 13 January 2001. President Yao Enchi was re-elected as President of the League at the 33rd WLFD General Conference in Melbourne, Australia, on 20 December 2003. 
Ge Yeong Quang was named as Secretary General of the League. On August 1, 2008, Ge resigned and was succeeded by Xie Wen Huang, parliamentary assistant to Vice President Seng Young Xuan of the ROC Legislative Yuan Parliament. Xie resigned, Chu Yujins was nominated to replace him on 23 January 2013. Membership <inaudible> 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 According to the Charter, national, regional or international organizations that subscribe to the purposes of the League are eligible for membership. Membership shall consist of regular members with voting rights and associate members without voting rights. Regular membership shall comprise two categories, one, an organization dedicated to the cause of freedom and democracy recognized by the Executive Board Committee as representing a country or territory, two, an international organization dedicated to the cause of freedom and democracy and composed of two or more branches not in the same country. Such an organization may be granted regular membership, provided that any of its branches shall not be accepted as a regular member. Youth groups in all parts of the world, dedicated to the cause of freedom and democracy and united in a duly organized body, may be accepted as an international organization. Other organizations dedicated to the cause of freedom and democracy may be accepted as associate members. All regular members shall have equal rights and obligations in the League. While a country or territory is represented in the League by one organization, any number of organizations from the same country or territory may be accepted as associate members. Associate members has the same rights and obligation as regular members except for voting rights. Any application for membership shall be submitted to the Secretariat of the League. The Executive Board shall consider the application and make recommendations to the General Conference. Any decision on membership shall be made by majority of the executive board members and approved by majority of the conference. Topic: Asian Pacific League for Freedom and Democracy. The Asian Pacific League for Freedom and Democracy (APLFD) was formed in 1954 as the Asian People's Anti-Communist League. The APLFD Secretariat was first established in Saigon, Vietnam in 1957, then the Secretariat moved to Manila in 1964. Three years later, the Secretariat moved back again to Saigon until its fall in 1975. After some compromise and a resolution, the APLFD Secretariat was re-established in Taipei, Taiwan in 1976 where it remains active. In 1983, at its conference in Fiji, it changed its name to the Asian Pacific Democratic League. The APLFD has 18 member nations, including Australia, Fiji, Guam, India, Indonesia, Japan, South Korea, Malaysia, New Zealand, Palau, the Philippines, Singapore, Taiwan, ROC, Thailand, USA, Vietnam, Laos, and Burma. They are for freedom, human rights, humanitarian, prosperity and world peace. The APLFD holds an annual conference every year. Since its founding, the APLFD has organized its conferences in those leading cities as follows, Qinhai, South Korea, Manila, the Philippines, Saigon, Vietnam, Bangkok, Thailand, Seoul, South Korea, Taipei, Taiwan, Tokyo, Japan, Kyoto, Japan, Kazan City, Philippines, Guam, Honolulu, USA, Perth, Australia, Nadi, Fiji, Nuku'alofa, Tonga, Cora, Palau, Auckland, New Zealand, Melbourne, Australia, Bangalore, India, Brisbane, Australia, Bali, October. 2000 Indonesia Vancouver BC Canada Santa Clara California USA Portland Oregon USA The 39th conference 1993 was held in Melbourne Australia under the chairmanship of Bruce Skeggs MP The 41st conference 1995 conference was held in Bangalore India Participants included Chief Minister Ramakrishna Hegde, Ram Jethmalani, Bruce Skeggs and Victor Purton. The 43rd Conference 1997 was held in Melbourne, Australia under the chairmanship of Bruce Skeggs MP. 
The 44th Conference was held in Manila, Philippines. Attending the conference were the representatives of Australia, Republic of China, Taiwan, Guam, India, Indonesia, Japan, Jordan, Korea, Laos, Palau, Philippines, Singapore, Thailand, Turkey, Vietnam. The 45th Conference was held in Brisbane, Australia under the chairmanship of Bruce Skeggs MP. The 46th Conference 4 7 November 2000 was held in Sheraton NUSA Jua, Bali International Convention Center, Denpasar, Bali, for the first times in Indonesia, after Sohardo Fall, under the chairmanship of Senator and MP Ham Hussein Naro, Temporary Chairman of Senate and Parliament Indonesia 1987, Special Advisor Indonesia Delegates to United Nations October 1988, led by Minister of Foreign Affairs Ali Aladas, after 18 years APLF. FD membership following his father Vice Speaker Indonesia Parliament Drive HJNAROSH since 1973 which received Drive HC from China Academy and appointed as China Airlines Special Advisor, open the Taipei, Jakarta route also Jakarta Jeddah and make NARO Dynasty and Secretary General Professor Peng Ming Min, Senior Advisor to the President Chen Sui Bian after elected and received transfer chairmanship from Bruce Skeggs MP and Ambassador Pao Tai Tian from K. KMT as Secretary General, with theme Peace, Progress and Prosperity in the Millennium. Secretary General Professor Peng Ming Min, President Candidate from DPP, made statement that Bali Conference was successful under Chairman Senator and MP Ham Hussein Naro. President Rock Chen Sui Bian sent his message and read by Ambassador Lin. When September 11 in New York was happened, Chairman Senator and MP Ham Hussein Naro invited by WLFD Executive Board attend the meeting but unavailable to go there. There, but Senator and MP Ham Hussein Naro sent his condolences to U.S. President George W. Bush. The 47th Conference November 2001 was held in Hyatt Regency, Auckland, New Zealand, after received transfer chairmanship from Senator and MP Ham Hussein Naro to Stuart Rundle, lead the league witness by Phil Goff, Minister of Foreign Affairs of New Zealand until 2002. Senator and MP Ham Hussein Naro remarks condemn terrorism and it is impossible to develop democracy under terror terrorist threatening the 50th Annual Conference 2004 was held in Santa Clara, California under the banner question Rethinking Freedom and Democracy in a Rapidly Changing World. The 2010 APLFD General Conference was held in Korea with the slogan, A New Vision for Progress in Freedom and Democracy. Distinguished speaks at the APLFD meetings, among others, included President Carlos P. Garcia of the Philippines, 1961, Mr. Nobusuke Kishi, 1962, as former Prime Minister of Japan, General Jesus Vargas, 1969, as Secretary General of SEATO, Mr. Kim Jong pil, 1972, as Prime Prime Minister of South Korea, President Fidel V. Ramos 1990, as Defense Secretary of the Philippines, Justice A.C. Ahmadi 1995, as Chief Justice of India, Mr. Don McKinnon 1996, as Deputy Prime Minister of New Zealand, Mr. Bob Halverson 1997, as Speaker of Parliament of Australia, President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo 1998, as Vice President of the Philippines, Mr. Phil Goff 2001, as Foreign Minister of New Zealand, Mr. Ratu Joni Madraiwiwi 2005, as Vice President of Fiji, Mr. Winston Peters 2006, as Foreign Minister of New Zealand, Mr. Eduardo R. Ermita 2009, as Executive Secretary of the Office of the President of the Philippines and under the auspices of the APLFD Secretariat, a forum named the Asia-Pacific Round Table was formed in 2003. The Round Table Forum is a meeting for a small group of professionals from various fields from Asia-Pacific countries for more understandings on the latest development in the region. In recent years, the development of ASEAN in the economic area was a major theme of the forum. Since 2003, the Asia Pacific Round Table meeting has been held in Seattle, USA, 2003; Sapporo, Japan, 2004; Johannesburg, South Africa, 2005; Nagoya, Japan, 2006; Brussels, Belgium, 2007; Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, 2010; Phnom Penh, Cambodia, 2011; and Bandar Seri Begawan, Brunei Darussalam, 2012. Republic of China chapter 
The Republic of China Rock chapter is one of the founding members of the WLFD and also the leading player as a national chapter that helps the WLFD to advocate the freedom movement. This chapter consists more than 300 civil organizations from all walks of society in the Republic of China such as national political parties, city councils or county assemblies, academies, cultural institutions, religious groups, agricultural units, labor unions, businessmen unions, youth groups, Chinese compatriots unions, and women groups. The ROC chapter is in charge of major decisions, place to hold conferences, and activity arrangements. The ROC chapter was not only one of the founding members of the League, but also the leading force to push for the WLFD missions. Yao Enchi, former vice president of the ROC Legislative Yuan Parliament and also president of the World League for Freedom and Democracy, is the current president of the ROC chapter. Topic: <laughs> Chapters in Europe. The number of members in Denmark is unknown, but several politicians have or have been connected to the organization. Progress Party leader Pia Arsgaard participated in 1988 as WACL's guest at the organization's Congress in Taipei. It is a worldwide organization that clearly aims to combat communism worldwide. This good purpose, of course, gives me my full support, and I therefore had the opportunity to speak during the Congress for an invited circle," said Pia Arsgaard in the magazine Progress. The Danish WACL leader has been municipal politician Eric Dissing. The French chapter was headed by Suzanne Laban. The president of the German section as of 2012 has been Axel Fischer. In Sweden, a department of WACL has been established since 1967. The Swedish organization has been characterized by strong participation among exile Estonians. Among the member organizations in the late 1960s were Democratic Alliance, Baltic Committee, Nordic War and UN Veterans Association and the Committee for a Free Asia. The National League of Sweden was also linked to the organization for some time. Swedish chairman has been Birger Neman 1967 to 70, Arvo Horm 1970 to 1984, Birger Hagerd 1984 to 88 and RKJK 1988 to 2011. Topic: Controversies. In 1978, Roger Pearson became the world chairman of the WACL. Pearson was described in a Washington Post article as having neo-Nazi associations and sources report that as a result of an article in the Washington Post in 1978 critical of WACL and alleging extreme right-wing politics of Pearson that either he was expelled from WACL or at least was pressured into resigning from his position as world chairman, the U.S. chapter of WACL, the United States Council for World Freedom USCWF, was founded in 1981 by Major Major General John K. Singlorb. Singlorb was the former U.S. Chief of Staff of both United Nations and American forces in South Korea, but was relieved in 1977 by U.S. President Jimmy Carter after publicly criticizing Carter's decision to reduce the number of troops on the peninsula. Singlorb became a member of the WACL in 1980, and founded and became president of its U.S. chapter, the United States Council for World Freedom. This branch generated controversy when it supported Nicaraguan guerrillas in the Iran Contra affair, and, in 1981, the USCWF was placed under watch by the Anti Defamation League, which said that the organization had increasingly become a point of contact for extremists, racists, and anti Semites. During the 1980s, the USCWF and WACL conducted a purge of these elements, and invited ADL observers to monitor its conferences. By 1985, the Anti Defamation League declared itself, satisfied that substantial progress has been made since 1981 in ridding the organization of racists and anti Semites. It is alleged that in the mid-1980s WACL had become a supplier of arms to anti-communist rebel movements in Southern Africa, Central America, Afghanistan and the Far East. During the 1980s, the WACL was particularly active in Latin America, notably by aiding the Contra forces in Nicaragua. 
During this period, WACL was criticized for the presence in the organization of neo-Nazis, war criminals, and people linked to death squads and assassinations. Other allegations have included reports claim that the World League for Freedom and Democracy is responsible for producing what its opponents call, "...troops of killers." While ostensibly organizing to provide support for Corazon Aquino from the right wing in the Philippines and for supporting the Mozambican National Resistance movement in Mozambique, the World Anti-Communist League held annual conferences at various locations throughout the world. Numerous groups participated, including the Unification Church of the Rev. Sun Myung Moon. WACL also enjoyed support from many U.S. congressmen, most notably 2008 presidential nominee Senator John McCain who sat on the United States Council for World Freedom board of directors in the early 1980s. McCain has said previously he resigned from the council in 1984 and asked in 1986 to have his name removed from the group's letterhead. Topic: Controversial members. In the World Anti-Communist League, numerous Nazi collaborators and Latin American death squads were active. The prominent members included D. Smitridge Kazmowicz, the Belarusian policeman of Smolensk, who was responsible for fighting partisans. Yoshio Kadama, Theodore Obolanda, Oberleutnant of the Nachtigall Battalion. Park Chung Hee. Ryoichi Sasakawa, Otto Skorzeny, Alfredo Stroessner, dictator of Paraguay. Topic. See also. Australian League of Rights, British League of Rights, Croatian Liberation Movement, Western Goals Institute.